girls. Welcome to Miss Morning Star's Digital Art Corner. We can't be in our classroom right now, but this is gonna be just fine. So for week one of creating artwork here with Miss Morning Star in my house, we are gonna do some nature art. And our nature art is inspired by mandalas. They're super cool. Um, they are circular art that um, has radial symmetry. So symmetry that goes around in a circle. So no matter how you turn this mandala, it will always have symmetrical division. So whether it's divided straight up through the middle, across um, this way, or on diagonals, it's always symmetrical. So working in a circle is really important. So for our materials today, you're actually gonna run outside um, because we are gonna make our artwork inspired by nature. There's a really cool artist. Her name is Kathy Klein and she makes mandalas out of nature. And we're going to kind of be like her. So before we go any farther, take a bag or a box and go outside and see what you can find. We need lots of materials to make this because as you can see, I have the same circle the whole way around my mandala. So I need a bunch of the same object. So about eight to 10 of anything that you can find. If you have two or four or whatever, you can still use that in your mandala, but the more you have, the better. So start searching for small things and big things. So maybe find a plant that has a whole bunch of leaves on it or tiny little flowers. Maybe you're finding a bunch of different rocks that are outside. You can always search for twigs and sticks. Big ones can be snapped into smaller pieces. Leaves are gonna be your friend here for sure. So search for some leaves. Big ones might be a little trickier. That just means you'll have a bigger mandala and that's cool. So some smaller ones are helpful too because then you can put tiny little details all around your radial design. You might even find some flowers. Dandelions are awesome for this. Um, there are tiny little purple flowers in your yards maybe. that are violets that you can use or maybe you can find a bush with a whole bunch of little flowers all together. So the more little materials you can find, branches with lots of leaves so you can set it around and make your mandala, the better. But think, radial symmetry, so you need a bunch of one object. All right, so take a second, find tons of supplies, and then you can make this um, artwork. You don't have to do it inside, you can actually do it outside and then let your mandala live out there forever. And then nature will start to break it apart, which is gonna be really cool to see over time. So grab your materials and then we'll make our mandala. Now, one thing to keep in mind, first of all, our mandala is a circle and then it has radial symmetry. So if I were to divide this in half, the left is the same as the right. If I were to divide it in half horizontally, the top is the same as the bottom and then also diagonally or diagonally. So everything's always consistent. So whatever I do at one side, I have to balance my design by doing it directly across. So it's gonna kind of have the same thing that repeats the whole way around. It's almost like little slices of pie. And every pie piece and section is the same as the next, which is pretty cool. So to start your mandala, if you're doing it inside and on paper, you can take a piece of paper and draw a circle to help you out. So circles are really important for mandalas because mandala in Sanskrit which is a language, means circle. So if you're doing it on a piece of paper, you can just roughly draw yourself a circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's not a big deal. So don't stress over a perfect circle. If you want to, you can find something to trace, but you don't have to. Then, to make sure it has radial symmetry, I'm going to divide it in half, top to bottom. Divide it in half, left to right. So now I have four sections and I want it to be like pie pieces. So I'm going to do my diagonals now too through the center. Good. Now that gives me a basis to start my mandala and my radial design. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to, you can do it separate, but this is a really helpful guide. So now I'm going to use my pieces and set them up within my mandala design. So maybe I'll take a bunch of these leaves 
and put them, oh, maybe right on my line, right there. So to make it have balance and symmetry, whatever I do here, I'm gonna do across from it. And then same to my left and right, I'm gonna take this really cool leaf, it's kind of plasticky, and put it on the left and the right as well. This one's a little bit different, but that's okay. Look, I can find another one. This is why it's helpful to have so many different supplies. Then these leaves are a little different, but that's okay. I'm gonna slide them on those lines. And then to finish up my balance and my radial symmetry, I'm gonna do the ones at the top and the sides. Then I can keep filling in. So I can add some rocks maybe at the tops and the edges constantly making whatever I do on one thing balance on the other side. It's really important. Mandalas are all about how everything is a constant circle and that there it's kind of represents the circle of life, which is pretty cool. And also how everything is connected. So there's never one thing that's all by itself on a mandala. It's always connected, which is nice to think about right now where when we feel a little bit separate from each other. We're kind of all staying connected together, just like this mandala, thanks to technology and all those things. So keep using your different nature materials and fill in your mandala design. If you're doing this outside, you can make your circle in chalk, if you have chalk at your house, which is pretty cool. Or you can even use like a paintbrush and your finger and water and do it on the sidewalk or the macadam and it will make a, a pattern that you need. All right, that's looking pretty cool. I think I need something in the middle. I can use, ooh, let's see. I love these guys, these little helicopters. So maybe I'll put them in between or on top maybe. I don't know. This is the fun part about making nature art is you really have to play with unique materials that you maybe have never used before. Very cool. All right, and now I can grab some of these little leaves, these little tiny ones. Maybe I'll put them on top. Not all of your designs have to be um, separate from each other. I'm gonna put these leaves on top of my other leaves to make my, my uh, mandala design have dimension and depth because there are things overlapping. Now you'll notice with my little helicopters, I only put four, but they're balanced across from each other. So that's why it still works in my mandala design. And my little tiny leaves are balanced directly across from each other, so it still works. So you're gonna keep adding to your mandala until you run out of space. It can be pretty cool. Look, you can even use things like grass that might be seen as a boring plant that's not exciting. And you can really spice up your design with some, leaf, uh, some grass leaves that are like really cool spears that go through my design. I like that a lot. So what other kind of things can you find in your house? So my grass sprigs are going from the center out to my dandelion flower. Oh man. So the more you add, the cooler it can be. And while you're doing this, hopefully this is peaceful and calm for you. Mandalas are also supposed to have some, be like meditation when you make them so that you can stay calm. So keep on adding and uh, have fun making your really cool designs. Make sure you put something cool in the middle. Oh, like maybe these blue flowers. Pretty. If you need some ideas, you can look up on the computer. This artist, her name is Kathy Klein. She makes some really cool things. And I hope that you have a very nice meditative moment outside with your mandala. If you make it outside on your sidewalk, take a picture of it and see how long it lasts before animals come and take it all apart. It could be pretty cool. And once you make one, you have all of these other supplies that you can make more and more and more. So have fun making your mandala. Enjoy the nature and I'll see you next week.